Monaki from Saint Anthony's Metric High Secondary School, Sakote at Kumogona. Class 10th standard science, topic chemistry, unit prior solution. In this lesson, learning objective is define solutions, recognize the types of solutions. In this lesson, what you are going to learn in the lecture, solution in day to day life, components of solutions, types of solutions. Let us see what we have that introduction. First, what is mean by solutions? Solution is a mixture. What is mean mixture? Mixture is two or more substances. That is called a mixture. So, solution is a homogeneous mixture. What is mean by solution? Solution is a homogeneous mixture. That mixture is classified into two types. One is homogeneous mixtures, then another one is heterogeneous mixtures. What is called homogeneous mixtures means the substances dissolved uniformly in the solutions is called homogeneous mixtures. For example, salt dissolved in water. This is the example for the homogeneous mixtures. Next, heterogeneous mixtures means the substances dissolved does not dissolve in uniformly that is called heterogeneous mixtures. For example, heterogeneous mixture for example, sand plus water. Here, the salt dissolved in water completely. So, then only it forms a homogeneous mixture. Cannot be separated the salt from the water. Here, the salt does not dissolve in water. Can be separated the sand from the water. So, to the filtration. Next, let us see solution in day to day life. So, one of the naturally existing solution is Water. We cannot imagine sea water without the light. So, sea water is, is a mixture of many salt and salt ingredients. Next, another one is air. Air is a mixture of gases already we know that. What are the gases present in the air? Carbon dioxide, hydrogen, oxygen, and other gases are present in the air already we know that. Next, the, all the forms of on the air are associated with the solutions. For example, plant. Plant gets the solution from the nutrient from the soil. Next, the regular activities like washing, cooking, cleaning, or that formation of solutions. Next, what we drink? You are do you like to drink coffee, cool drinks, the rose or drinks what we take, soft drinks, food juice, coffee, tea, or the solutions. These are the regular solutions in our day to day life. Next, let us see components of solutions. Another topic we have to see solute, solvent, dissolution, binary solution, and tunnel solution. First, let us see solute. What is mean by solute? In a solution, the component which is present in lesser amount. The, in a solution, the components which is present in lesser amount by weight is called solute. Then a solvent means in a solution, the components which is present in larger amount. Larger amount, this is called solvent. Next let us see dissolution. What is called dissolution? The process of distribution of solute into solvent is called dissolution. That is solution means one solute plus one solvent, it gives a solution. For example, sodium chloride reacts with water, it gives sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. Here, that is sodium chloride is a solute, water is a solvent, sodium hydroxide is a solvent. So, solute plus solvent, it gives solution. Next, let us see binary solutions. Binary means already you know. Binary means two. So what is mean by binary solution? The solution contains two components. The solution contains two components. This called. Next one, let us see binary solution. What is called the binary solutions means the solution contains two components. The solution contains two components. This called a binary solution. For example, copper sulfate in water. Copper sulfate reacts with water. It gives copper sulfate monohydrate. Here, copper sulfate is a solute. Water is a solvent. Copper sulfate monohydrate is a solution. How many components are present here? Two components are present here. What they are? Copper sulfate and water. So, then only this is the example for the binary solutions. Next, let us see ternary solutions. Ternary means that is 3. So, 
what is mean by primary solution? The solution contain three components. The solution contain three components are called primary solutions. It may be two. One solvent, otherwise one solvent, two solute maybe. So here the dissolved and the sugar dissolved in water. Here salt and the sugar is a solute. Here water is a solvent. Here that the sugar is a solute. Then water and the milk is a solvent. So it may be two solute to one solvent. Otherwise one solute. Next let us see types of solutions. Based on the physical state, based on the types of solvent, based on the amount of solute. First, let us see based on the physical state. So, based on the physical state, we know that substances normally exist in three states. What they are? Solid, liquid, gas. Then, types of binary solutions. Already I told binary means two. Here, that is solute, solvent and the example is given. First, let us see solid solutions. Here, solid is a solid, solvent is also solid. For solid, solid, example, copper dissolved in gold. That means called as alloys. Next, that is solute is liquid, solvent is solid, liquid to solid. For example, mercury with sodium, it is called as amalgam. Next, liquid solutions. Solid to liquid. That example is sodium chloride dissolved in water. Here, that is solute is a liquid, solvent is a liquid. So, liquid to liquid. Example for ethyl alcohol dissolved in water. Here, that the solute is a gas, solvent is a liquid. Gas to liquid. For example, carbon dioxide dissolved in water. That is called as soda water. When you open the soft drink, that foam are coming out of that one is the example for that carbon dioxide. Next, that is gaseous solutions, liquid gas, water vapor in air, that is cloud. Solute is gas, solvent is gas, gas to gas, for example, mixture of helium and oxygen gas. Next, let us see, based on the types of solvent. Based on the types of solvent, we can classify into two types. What they are? Aqua solution and non-aqua solutions. But is already you know that aqua means water. Water is a universal solvent. Why the water is called as a universal solvent? Most of the substances dissolved in water. So then only the water is called as a universal solvent. But some of the substances did not dissolve in water. That is solution like that is benzene, ethene, ether, that alcohol is a solution. That is called a non example for the non aqua solution. First, let us see aqua solutions. What is mean by aqua solution? So, the solutions in which water acts as a solvent. Which one acts as a solvent? Water acts as a solvent. Water acts as a solvent is called a Aqua solutions. Aqua solution, for example, sodium chloride in water, sugar in water. That sodium chloride is known as common salt, already you know that. Next, let us see non aqua solutions. Non aqua solutions means you are, what do you remember here? That there is no water. So then only that is called as non aqua solutions. What is mean by non aqua solutions? The solutions in which any liquids, the solutions in which any liquid other than water act as a solvent, other than water act as a solvent is called non aqueous solutions. Non aqueous solution, for example, sulfur dissolved in carbon disulfide, then another one example for iodine dissolved in carbon tetrachloride. Next, let us see based on the amount of solute. Based on the amount of solutes, we can classify into three types. What they are? First one is saturated solution. Second one is unsaturated solutions. That is third one is supersaturated solution. First let us see saturated solution. What is mean by saturated solution? No more solute. Listen the word here. That no more solute can dissolve in given definite amount of solvent at a given temperature. 
mixture. For example, that is 36 gram of sodium chloride in 100 gram of water at 25 degrees centigrade. It forms a saturated solution. Next, let us see unsaturated solutions. What is mean by unsaturated solutions? Less solute can dissolve in saturated solutions. That means 10 gram of sodium chloride or 20 gram of sodium chloride or 30 gram of sodium chloride dissolved in 100 gram of water at 25 degree and form a unsaturated solutions. Next, let us see supersaturated solutions. What is mean by supersaturated solution? That more solutions, is in the word, more solutions can be dissolved in the saturated solutions and form a supersaturated solutions. For example, 40 gram of sodium chloride dissolved in 100 gram of water at 25 degrees centigrade and form a supersaturated solutions. We will see the next topic in next class. Thank you students.